For practice set exercise 1.16, Shining, we need to write a program in a class named Shining that prints the following output 1,000 times. And this is our output. So we need to write code that will print this exactly 1,000 times. Instead of writing this actually 1,000 times, what we can do is a couple method calls. We can have a public static void main. Um, but we'll have this in our class, so first we need to write our class first, and that's going to be public class shining, like this, with a starting brace, and then inside of our main we're going to have a string, args, and then a starting brace here, and then we have to write a closing brace for both of these. Once we have our normal syntax down, we can start writing our method. First, we will have public static void 1. And actually, we'll call this 10. And in here, this is our method. And in, in, in this method, we'll have a system.out.println where we print the output 10 times. So basically, we'll just take this and print it uh, nine more times. So far, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we actually don't need this last line here. And now that we have all ten written out, we can um, close our method like this and then we can write a, another method public static void that actually calls this um, 10 times and we can call this 100 so in our 100 method we can call this 10 method 10 times so we'll have 10 and if it calls it 10 times, well, in here, it's going to store the value 10. And if we call it a second time, we will have 20, and then 30, and then 40, and then 50, and then 60, and then 70, and then 80, and then 90. And then we have this a thousand times because um, all of this code is written. And what we can do is call it in our main method. So we can just call our 100 like this and then submit and check to see if that works. If we look at the output, we do have an error. And the difference is that it actually doesn't produce it a thousand times. So if we look back into our code, we can try to see what we did wrong. And in our first method, we have public static void 10. And this outputs it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. So in here, we have 10 times. Every time we call this, it will be um, outputted 10 times. In here, um, if, we call, if we call 100, if we call 100, we are going to have the output 10. Um, so it's going to output it 10 times, then 20 times, then 30 times, then 40 times, then 50 then 60, then 70, then 80, then 90, 100. So actually I miscounted and it's not going to be a thousand times. This is going to print it 100 times. But to make it a thousand, we can make a public static void and call this thousand. And in our thousand method, we can call our hundred method 10 times. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we can close that method. And instead of calling 100 up here, we will call 1000. And we can submit this. And it works. We have output this 1000 times. So what we're doing in our 10 method is writing this 10 times. So this is 10 um, lines of code out of the, or this is 10 lines of output out of the 1000 that we need done. 
Now if we have this method where we call it each time, we are having 10 um, in here, and if we call it once here, we have 10. And then if we call it again, we'll have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, until it goes through all of them, and then we store 100 in our 100 method. So we can actually call this 100. And then in our 1000 method, we are calling 100 every single time. And if we call 100 10 times, well, 100 times 1000 is going to be, or 100 times 100 is going to be 1000. Or what we have here is 100 times 10 will be 1000. And when we output it, we have the code that prints 1000 times. This could be done a lot easier using a for loop or a while loop or some other loop which we will learn about in the future.